just a few more minutes, you have such an incredibly singular face. That's a compliment, my lady, out of my mouth. <laughs> Your particularity gives you character. You're still here? We have nearly finished. Have you any more need of me, Master? You haven't forgotten that we're setting sail today, have you? Of course not. Your cousin is nowhere to be found. I've searched the palace from cellars to attics. Your uncle is beside himself. He was of a mind to paint the town last night. Don't worry, I shall track him down. Make care to your own preparations without wrinkling another frown. We'll meet you on the boat. It's about time your cousin took account of the responsibilities awaiting him. He should go and inform the ambassadors of Telemi and the Bridge Alliance of his departure. Have no fear, Master. I will go and see them in his name. I beg your pardon, but urgent matters call me away. Might we finish all this later? Impossible, my lady. You are leaving with the tide, if what I've been told is correct. I am sorry, sir, truly. I must be going. Uh, my lady, please, I beg you. Her Highness has personally requested I finish it. Thank you, cousin, for getting me out of that. <laughs> Hello, buddy. Welcome to... Greedfall. I'm actually really excited about trying this game out. Let me just show you guys uh, what I have decided to pick for our character. Hopefully, let me bring it up here. Here we are. So, uh, as always, I have gone with the caster options. So we're going to be the mage. Um, with how flexible the leveling system looks, we're going to be looking at becoming a spell sword, which is unfortunate because it means we're going to basically end up wasting this one handed heavy weapons thing. I am going to be taking swords. Don't know how good or bad that's going to be, but. That's what we're going to be doing. Uh, but essentially, we'll be casting spells, uh, bringing over to our... Ah, here we go. Uh, attributes, I picked um, Mental Power. I want to have more damage per cast. Uh, there's a lot of stuff here <laughs> to be paying attention to. There's a lot that we can we can be dealing with. Uh, I can't see myself putting much into accuracy when I look at this. Um, I'm definitely going to be picking spells for guns. Uh, willpower is probably going to be important to us. Uh, agility looks like a good idea. Strength is probably going to be a good idea for us. Endurance, we will see. Particularly it's maximum life. Talents, uh, I picked Vigor. Um, and it's kind of frustrating because I'll make, take advantage of that ammunition, but it is going to allow us to recover HP and magic outside of combat. So I think that is probably the best point to pick first. Um, I think after that, probably lock picking. Uh, and by the sounds of it, is it Vigor? No, not Vigor. Yeah, and Vigor. Okay, so Vigor is actually really important because it allows us to passive capacity. So I feel like Vigor is almost um, as key as lockpicking. That's why I picked that one. Um, <clears throat> Intuition is going to be good for gathering. Uh, we have Craftsmanship, which I feel like we're probably going to get later. That's probably a good one to get one in like for a while, and then you'll build this up steadily. As far as I can tell so far, anyway. Um, Charisma is probably one that you could rush as well. There's a lot of, there's a lot of things here that <laughs> seem to be at play, so... We'll see, have to see how this goes. Uh, if you guys want to see me like do a full character creation, uh, then please let me know and I'll upload a video uh, showing that. But in any case, let's let's get this on. Oh, the, uh, the looking around is a bit floaty. We can talk to people. Now, this is going to be uh, quite heavy in the whole role-playing element of things. So I don't want to rush around too much. Now, I don't think we can actually gain anything right here at the beginning. We need to uh, actually make our way to the island. Have we got a, got a dodge here? Oh, wow, hello. Oh, we're going to... Ooh. Have tactical pause. Okay, this is how we change. This is how we pause things when we want to. Cool, that's nice. Change weapon. Oh, hello. Cool. We okay, have different things here. Okay, cool. Nice. Okay, so we have to change from spells to uh, to attacking. That's interesting. Okay. All worth no. Right. Do we have a quest? We do have quest markers. Okay, that's kind of nice. I see if we've got anything hidden around the back. No, we don't. Noish and Shimper for now. Hey! Green blood! Cut! And so the day has finally come. My royal fledglings are leaving the nest. Oh, hello. Accompanied by their most loyal and tenacious master of arms. As loyal as your goal. Mm. Enough with the cold mercenary. I know you like us. 
Still hiding your men in the unsuspecting shadows of the greats of this world, I see. Hey, our blades are the only thing keeping you dainties alive. <laughs> Kurt, I'm not in need of your protection. I'm no longer a child, you know. Is that so? Well, let's see. Fight with honor! Okay. Two health potions. Okay, what's happening here? I don't know what that is. Oh yeah, we got ranged damage. I'm happy with that. I just wanted to hit him three times. Okay. Is there a dodge? Ah, there's the dodge. So in, in combat, then uh, sprint becomes dodge. We have a magical parry. Interesting. Okay. Cool. So we just have to block it with that. It's a temporary block, but it's fine. All right. Next shadow missile. Why shadow impact? Yes. Okay. Stasis. <clears throat> oh, so it wants me to heal. Bind. Use. Yes. Use it. Oh, assign a potion. Uh, bind. Down. Okay. I mean, that's fine. Why is Shadow Impact? Ooh. Okay, so we can go ahead and. Ouch. <laughs> Do you mind? Hey, I'm supposed to be learning here. That's clearly the way forward. <laughs> you defend yourself well, Greenblood. One might think you had a proper Master of Arms. The best. And you already training for your new post of Legate? Don't tire yourself. Flattery will get you nowhere. But for the fight, you have remembered your basics. Your performance just got you out of a final lesson. Unless you want to go through the paces again before we depart. I'm good. No, thanks all the same. We'll learn on the flying step. I have quite a few tasks to check off my list before we depart. Well, well, here angry. you are already assuming your political functions. And in a hurry. Always too busy. Very well. If you ever want to go over your basics later, visit one of our barracks on the aisle. You'll cool. always find a training partner to give you a friendly fight. I'll remember that. Thanks. Are your bags packed for the great departure? Yes. You know I get by with very little. You're not angry that I'm coming with you, I hope. Hmm. <laughs> On the contrary, I am thrilled that both you and Sir de Corsignan are joining our party. A few friends at your side in unknown territory is a boon. Don't tell me the old school teacher is competing against me. By the way, where is our future governor hiding? I was hoping to put his skills to the test as well. I have no idea. He had plans to celebrate his departure last night, and we haven't seen him since. He's still taking a few hits, hasn't he? You know, Constantine. I should have gone with him, but my heart wasn't in the mood for a celebration. The thought of bidding my mother farewell. It is never easy to say goodbye. But you should be going to see her now. She must be waiting for you. I'll meet you in front of the palace. Then we'll go and find Constantine together. Very well. I'll meet you as soon as I've said my goodbyes. Alrighty, let's get out of here. Which way? There we go. Can't get around there. It's fine. Can't get around there. Is this stuff to pick up? Maybe. Got an alchemy position here, but that's fine. Hello, door. What is this? Have you not been taught to knock? Dang. I've asked a thousand times. Oh, it's you, my dear child. Mother, I'm sorry. I'm having trouble getting used to your condition. Come now, let's speak of more pleasant things. I'm so very happy to hear your voice. You May well be the me last so time. Of your father. I do miss him so. <clears throat> Today is the big day, isn't it? Ready to set sail for that island everyone's talking about. 
Yes, but the idea of leaving you behind, alone and ill. Dying, my child. Alas, there is nothing you can do by staying that would ease my suffering. Hmm. One thing brings me cheer. They say the island is full of miracles, and we might find a cure. Even if I were to find it, I would never be able to return in time to... I know. But it brings me comfort to know my daughter has left on a mission to heal her people. Come now. It is time for you to take leave. Here. Take this with you. Interesting. What is it? A family heirloom. Something that... Take it and keep it with you. May it bring you good luck. Oh, very nice with me. All my blessings go with you, my child. Now, be off. Hmm. Wow, she's got it bad. Oh, that's pretty clean, which is nice. It's telling me I can sprint. Quite liking it so far. I mean, I suppose we haven't seen much yet. Cut. It's done. Sorry, green blood. Look, we can see the masts of the ship that'll be taking us. This is one sacred adventure we're embarking on. Everyone looks frustrated. It's quite funny. Voices. In order to know that, we'll need to find Constantine first. You were right. Maybe he is already at the port. He was so eager to leave. This will be quite the chore to finish before our departure. The commander wants to recover some merchandise from our supplier, but the transporter doesn't want to deliver. I did all I could to persuade. Nothing came of it. All the parliamenting fatigues me. But this is your domain. I wouldn't say no to a little help. Of course. Where is the supplier located? In the lower Boris, near the port. Right then. We'll put it on our list of visits. Okay. Add to team. Oh, cool. We'll get a team. Confirm the team and quit. Sure. Where would you like to begin? Oh, we can actually can just get our weapons out here. That's kind of funny. To the ambassadors of Teleno and the bridge for our departure. Their dwellings are not far from here. We could go there first. Well, well, that's not to the map. I thought we would get a map. Will be for us next to the ship. Oh, hello. I don't know, but it is certainly worth. Oh wow! Yeah, sure. Oh, so the city is going to be on the map then. So we will even end up coming back here later. That's entertainingly good. Serene Harbour. Serene. So Serene's the place. New Serene. Interesting. I wonder how much verticality we're going to get in these cities. Hello. Well, it says I can, so I will. There's more here, don't Hello. I mean, why wouldn't I take everything? Why do you want to go to the equivalent tab? Hello. I've got health, ammo. Ooh, wait. We haven't got any cloaks, that's a shame. Kinda want one now. Ah, we discovered a hat. Oh cool, we've got a new hat. With a feather in. Gives us more balance. Okay, it gives us a lot of stuff more. Okay. I wonder if that's always there, if that's random. Oh, the alchemist rate. Where did that come from? I don't know where I got that from. I can't use it because I need one hundred blades, but that's clearly what we're going to be working to. Oh, so we have physical damage, we have armor damage. Oh, okay. Fine, make fine, fine. Need to have firearms. Okay, so that, be that being a separate um, 
a separate slot. I don't see why you wouldn't always have a final. So maybe we've uh, underestimated the importance of that. This must be some kind of bonus. Like, I don't understand why I've got these. I'm going to put them on, on for now because they look cool. But uh, if you guys think I should not use them, please let me know. We're good. Right. I look all cool now. Oh, yeah. Proper dapper. Oh, hello. And death to the others. Oh, no. I want to block it. <laughs> ah. No, I'm good, I'm good. Change weapon, here we go. Alright. Alright. Not too fussed on that hammer. Good, thank you. Okay, we'll take. Ooh, hello, take everything. Magic potion. So, that is obviously why we want to have the vigor look. So now we're re regaining HP and stuff. That's going to save us in terms of resources later on. Everybody that's w ever watched me in a game knows I'm quite conservative in that regard. Hello. Got some stuff here. Like, let's not miss anything. Excellent. You yeah, know, I'm really enjoying this already. I love the aesthetic. This game doesn't need to have perfect graphics for me to like it. Right, we got... This, this is on the map. Look, I'm trying to... Work out which one I want to go for. So that's that way. So let's let's go the wrong way here. Uh, and I apologise if the if the screen's all over the place. The um, the sensitivity seems to be a bit weird. Look at that. Got coins. Another alchemy thing. We can't do any alchemy yet because we're not trained in it. Okay. Should we be talking to these people? I'm sorry. I'm afraid that I won't make it. Hmm. Hello. Of course we can take those, thank you. So there are a lot of goodies hidden around here. It's nice to know. Didn't think we would have this much to look for in the first area. The merchant is there. Where? Oh, hello. Good day, my lady. How might I be of service? You can start by explaining to me why you refuse to honor the orders agreed upon with the guard. There's been a misunderstanding, madam. Of course we're ready to honor the orders. In fact, I've already had a word with your master at arms. Okay. They're asking that we pay again. Despite having already paid. It's just that the price has gone up since. I've nothing to do with it. This is inadmissible. If you agree on a sum, you need to honour that agreement. I'm sorry, madam. I'm just an agent. And I'm only obeying orders. Why don't we go and solicit other suppliers, Kurt? When we've already paid for the merchandise? If these thieves agree to reimburse the original payment, it's what we do immediately. And do know, in the future, we won't be shopping with them. Well, I should think not. Your master has apparently asked you to demand a second payment for this merchandise. That's right. He told me that their attendant seemed to be hiding something when he passed the order. And so he must have thought the guard would end up paying in the end whatever he asked for. I'll be damned. And I'm the one they've sent to settle the affair. Sorry, Captain. <laughs> it's nothing personal. I'm only following orders. Following orders. Yeah, we hear you. Makes one wonder which one of the two of us is a coin guard. This whole story sounds suspicious and stinks of a scandal. You were demanding a second payment, but refused to reimburse the one that was already made. I'm not the one demanding nor refusing. It's my master. This stubborn fool is pushing me to madness. You understand now why I'm asking for your help? I feel like 
So we have a chance based thing here. Or we could offer a bribe. I'm certain we can come to an unofficial arrangement. You are clearly the apprentice of a demanding master who expects you to follow orders without raising a brow. Life in your shoes can't be easy. Perhaps we could help you take the weight off your feet. And what would I have to do in exchange? If I give you the merchandise, my master will still demand the price you're supposed to pay me. Not if you were robbed. By pure chance. I mean, it could happen to anyone. What if the guards leave a little extra bonus in your pocket as you look away? And while you're making yourself busy elsewhere, some of my men break in and collect their merchandise. You'll just have to make a devastated... Oh, the dastardly boldness of a face in front of your master, and we're done. And the bonus will be how much? Well, you won't be retiring in it. No. All right. Done. I'm with you. As soon as my bonus, my eyes will grow weary-like. Ah, uh, not just yet. You'll get your bonus afterwards. The guard has already been taken once by your promises. Well, you can't hold it against me for trying. <laughs> Very well. Call for your men to come. You're certainly honoring your new title. Bravo! Excellent. The quartermaster must be expecting us. Okay, what else have we got around here then? I'm enjoying this so far. I, I don't know how much I should be enjoying it, but I am. Weirdly. Hello. So there's no stealing, there's just stuff we can have. A chemical mix of magic damage, that sounds fine by me. Port quarter. The lack of minimap is killing me. This place is massive. The Nort Warehouses. Zones controlled by other factions. <laughs> Zones control of another faction. Then yours. Certain places are forbidden for you. Okay. So we don't want to go here yet. Take that though. Let's go for one of these uh, points of interest, right? Hopefully we'll get led around a decent amount of the areas. Why, well, I simply know I can't open that, okay. Something here, right? Oh, we can select the mission, that's kind of nice, I like that. Notify the little of the departure. They're both the same one, okay. This place. This doesn't look all that princely. I can't have those signs work. Shim not actually written on there. Let's go over this way. Just like a cardinal, Good doesn't day, he? Excellency. Lady de Sade. To what do I owe the pleasure? I have come to inform you that my cousin Constantine and I are departing for Tier Fredi on the hour. Ah, yes. I did indeed hear talk that you had both received callings of greater stature. Allow me to congratulate you. Were you not named Legate of the Congregation? You are correct, Excellency. I thank you. It is a station of great honor that I am sure you will fill with brio and panache. The Mother Cardinal Cornelia will be enchanted to work with you, and your cousin in the future. I only regret that your departure is so sudden. Really? To be entirely honest with you, 
I'm hoping to solicit your help in a rather delicate matter. Interesting. Tell me more about it, and perhaps I can take care of your problem before my departure. Very well. A small group of dangerous heretics has found refuge in Serene. We know that your uncle tolerates the presence of all pagans within the city walls. But these particular non-believers threaten the fragile harmony of this place. We would consider it a tremendous favor if you would arrest them and deliver them to our guard. Heresy is not a crime in Serene. You do know that, but I'm sure that my uncle would hear your arguments. Why call on my intervention? The prince would indeed give us his blessing, but it would take time, far too much time. For according to our sources, these fugitives have already made contact with a smuggler to take them who knows where. I see. You are hoping that I'll be able to do something before they make it to an enemy city. If your heretics are planning on boarding a ship, then they must be in the dockyards. I'll look into this and see what I can do. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. We can find loads of stuff out. Now, I don't know how useful this is. Let's take a look. About Teleme. It would be a pleasure. As you already know, our glorious nation is guided by our faith. We follow the teachings of Matthias, our founder and greatest prophet. And give thanks each day to the Luminous for having gifted us magic. The high dignitaries of Teleme are at the same time our spiritual guides, advocates, and grand mages. I've heard say that dissensions have appeared recently in your nation. Ah, you must certainly be speaking about the debates that have divided the Ordo Luminous and the more political orders. The Lord Luminous has an extremely pure vision of our faith and applies the words of our saint very strictly. But other, more open-minded factions exist within our nation. They believe that a less rigid dialectic would attract souls more readily to our faith. But their differences are purely theoretic and do not threaten the cohesion of our nation, I assure you. Mm. What is your point of view on the relations between our two nations? As ambassador of Teleme, I can only rejoice at the mention of our commercial treaties. We thank that her Okay, I don't need to listen to all this. Let's I must go. be going. May as interesting as it is. Alright, uh, I can't get up there, that's fine. Doesn't like anything for us to pick up, so let's leave. And so now it's telling us to go to the docks that we just came from. Right, they told us to go to the... Wait a minute. So why doesn't it allow me to... Journal, great departure. Side quest, here we go. If I do this then, there we go, I'm going to do one at a time, let's do this first, so I'm going to want to get over here, let's keep an eye out goodies, I see something sparkling over there, Yeah, it did. Haha! <laughs> cannot hide from my eyes. Cool, so we've got enough AI to move out of the way. It's better than Kippus for Skyrim. Stop, I've got a shop over here. Welcome! It's such a. Have you seen anything? So I don't really need very much of that. I would like new armor. 
Is there a compare at least? The sort definitely help camera. No, ah, it does show. Look down. Uh, better magic resistance. More loot chance. Ooh, <laughs> I can't let the intuition. That's probably what's showing me where uh, the goodies are. So I probably want to keep that on. Uh, what we can do though is that right. So we can save this coat, which is better defense, more elemental resistances. Loot chance goes down. Ah, we do want a better one of those. So HP of he Ah, okay, so the necklace dictates what we regenerate. Okay. So that's why we were still able to regenerate magic in yeah, magic shield or armor regen. Station duration. Okay, so that's interesting. Ah, I have a cloak. We don't have one of those right now. Plus, ooh, extra charisma. And that costs 62 gold. I have... 15. <laughs> oh, come on, there must be something I can sell. 62 gold. I would like to have better charisma. Thanks to my cape. Okay, novice string we need to keep. I feel like we should sell. No, we shouldn't sell that. We do have a gun, and I'm not going to use it very much. So let's actually sell that. <laughs> this is where it's like, oh, remember I said I was going to use the other stuff you guys told me. I'm actually going to. Oh, I've got two of these now. Okay. I like this loot chance. We're keeping that. Sixty-five. Oh, nearly there. Okay, cool. I'm not using ammunition anyway. And there's loads of this. Which does it? Ace. Now I can get a cape. Welcome. Give me that cape. Come, come here. No, not sell. Damn it. No, stop it. I'm letting the button presses get the better of me. Put chase. No. Yes, thank you. Increased charisma. By doing this. Excellent. Yeah, that makes me feel better. And there's the sub Hawthorne bike. Just when I was saying about how. Uh... Yeah, we want that, right? Let's, let's, let's track this down. Oh, right here. Good. That's probably where we're going to get some coinage rewards, so I wouldn't have needed to sell everything, but I'm pretty happy that we've got the cape. Mainly because it looks cool. I'm liking it, I'm liking it a lot. Keep an eye out for sparkles. There's the dude we need to talk to. Man needs some tea. Sade, I presume. It is an honor to make your acquaintance. Captain, you set sail soon. Have you seen to our little business? Aye. Yes. We were finally able to recover your merchandise. Excellent news. I'm afraid, though, that your mission isn't completely finished, Kurt. Bless <laughs> me, I'm a captain, not an errand boy. The commander was quite explicit. Very well. What do I need to do? The merchandise that you obtained needs to be sent to Tier 3D as soon as possible. But the Port Authority formalities for shipping take an eternity to wade through. And we've already lost quite a bit of time with this dishonest merchant. Are you blatantly asking us to smuggle this merchandise and contraband? I would never ask you to do such a thing, you see. Ah, but you don't mind asking that of Kurt? Well, now, uh, if he finds an alternative solution that is less uh, illegal, uh, that would be fine. The method matters not. But this cargo must reach the Isle on the next ship. Marvellous. Well then, I await turn with utmost impatience. I'm certain you shall do what's required. <laughs> God damn. Cool. 
Go to see if there's any goodies about. Doesn't look like there's very much in here, though. Okay, so it is guiding me pretty nicely as long as you track the actual quest itself. Which is cool. I think Shame can't have more than one up. Uh, that looks like we crafted yet, so we can't be doing anything with that right now. Hello. Beast essence. Oh. There's loads of stuff tucked away now. Oh, yeah. Well, it's not going to stop me having it, I'm going to take it. I wonder if I have a weight limit. I couldn't see one. Inventory, right? Inventory. No, it doesn't look like there is. Mr. Mr. is like me. Kurt is suspicious of me. Magic power and defense are okay. No technique, no attack. Journal. Maps, equipment. No, I guess not. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I did see it. Top right, 33 of 300. Look, there is a weight limit. Okay. Now one wonders how you raise this. What if we can? Lively there, lads and lasses! I promised the merchants and their prince we'd be off before the tide. You man, carry that properly. That porcelain is worth more than your life. Oh no. There are some children we'd be best to refuse. Captain Vasco. And you are? I'm de Sade, the prince's niece. If all is in order, you will soon be embarking on your boat. It's a ship. Not a boat. Alright, sorry, pal. Apologies. Apologies for my asking, but the young governor isn't with you. Home this morning. I need to find him before departure. I hope nothing's happened to him or he hasn't changed his mind. The tide does not wait. Perhaps he simply celebrated his imminent departure with a little too much enthusiasm. Is everything ready? We're short a crew member. The cabin boy is missing. But have no fear, we will leave without him if he does not present himself before the tide. Is he an important member of the crew? We don't need him for sailing or navigation. Only a cabin boy. He must have simply had a bit too much to drink in celebrating his departure. Like another I know. I doubt that Jonas was never one to fancy drink. And it's been two days since last he was seen. No, I fear something bad has happened to him. Might I ask you, if you hear anything, could you report it to me? I would like to set sail with a clear mind. Mm. Have you seen anyone wandering about? Suspicious looking, maybe clandestine passengers? Take a look around. There are far too many comings and goings to spot possible stowaways. As long as they don't try and get on my ship, I pay no attention to them. That said, we did catch ourselves a smuggler just a while ago. A smuggler? Maybe he could be of some use. Where could I find him? In the port jails, not far from the warehouses. Why I ask you, why the sudden interest in smugglers and the odd stowaway? A couple of heretics are planning on leaving Serene. The ambassador of Teleme has entered me with the job of capturing them. Happy to see that you trust me enough to seek my counsel in the affair. Just so happens that I heard someone talking about the couple. The Cardinal's men are far from discreet. They are making quite some ruckus, asking to search our warehouses. We, of course, refused entry. Only the Norths have access. I'm sorry, Your Excellency, but I'm certain your potential stowaways aren't far. But we won't allow you to make a search to grab them. Not officially, at least. What do you mean? That discretion and malice are often more useful than titles and words. <laughs> I have a favor to ask before we leave. I'm all ears. We would like to load some merchandise into your ship's hold. Impossible. You're too late for that. All merchandise must be registered at the Port Authority. Formalities are long. So, unless you're asking me to turn smuggler and hide contraband on my vessel. I wouldn't go that far. 
We're only talking about a few crates, after all. Well then, they'll have to wait. The next ship for New Serene leaves in a month. Hellfire. If that shipment doesn't leave today, the commander will have my hide. <sighs> Captain, I understand your position, but isn't there some way we can get these crates on board? I doubt it. Even if I wanted to help you, my quartermaster is a half-crazed bridge troll. He's gone into his head that a gang of ruffians want to use my ship to pass contraband over to Tier Frigate. He's placed guards where our cargo is being held before being loaded. All that is not in the warehouse, and no stone of manifest, will be left on the docks. Sorry, but your crates are gonna have to wait until the next ship sets sail. Sorry, Kurt. At least we tried. The commander is gonna have my head. And I'm sure that's what he wanted in giving me this impossible task. In that case, we're going to have to doctor the manifest ourselves. It must be at the harbor master's office. <laughs> so, in case of any information, we should be all good for now. You haven't heard anything about my cousin by chance, have you? To be honest, did you say he was intending my men's that is Let's go and find Happy him. to be of some help. When did you see your cabin boy for the last time? It's been two days since I've had any news at all. It wasn't out of the ordinary until this morning. My men have free shore leave when we're at dock. But the day of departure, every able-bodied sailor must be present on the ship. <laughs> be back soon, Captain. We need to have a word with that people smuggler the sailor mentioned. He's a captain, Kurt, like yourself. And in order to interrogate the smuggler, we'll need to find a way into this jail. Ooh. So much to do. Hello. Oh, yeah. No jump, that's a shame. Let's take a look around the building. We might find a less conspicuous entrance. Where is the manifest to be found? I've already been to the port authorities. They keep the official documents upstairs. To my help. Whoops. <laughs> I totally failed at the start there. Come on, recharge. Upstairs, could be anything around up here now. I'm assuming that we don't uh, have too many enemies to worry about at this point. What do we have here? A big chest. God damn, I wish I could lock pick locks right now. Alright, let's take a look in here. Oops. If you wore a nought uniform and you were able to keep your mark hidden from them, they might let us in. Unless we just offered them a drink. These sailors rarely refuse one. I see where this is headed. If we drop a little soporific in their glasses, the way will be clear. I'll just need to find the proper ingredients. But it's doable. Okay, it's quite interesting how there seems to be multiple ways around this mission. I just haven't used them. Door. Very nice. 
Okay, so the fact that I've uh, got some clothing from somewhere, for some reason, isn't going to affect us too badly by the look of it. Wow, lockpicking. Is incredibly useful already. Here is the ship's manifest. We only need to add our merchandise to the list. Ah, key. Can I open some of this now? No? Okay, I thought the key would be helpful. I guess it just opens something. Let's see if we can find out what. Nope, couldn't open any of it. Never mind. It's a lot of picking. Very valuable. is off limits. Move along. Did you hear the bell? The bell? Of the port authorities? Of course. We are not in Tuleme, you know. You better get going. The harbour master is ringing it. All the noughts must rendezvous at the port authority immediately. Must be something serious. Damn, I didn't hear either. We're done for. Come on, we need to move fast. Be <laughs> up with you. I'll watch over the warehouse in your absence. The path is clear. We should notify the men. They need all the time they... Okay. I don't know what I'm supposed to do in here. We're going to take a look around anyway. Beast Essence, Hawthorne. The biggest question is whether XP is going to be like enemy related or um, encounter related, right? Nope, more lot picking that we can't do. Damn, I'm missing out on so much. Vigor may not have been the best. Pick for the beginning. Find down the ladder. I've missed so much. If you guys have picked lock picking at the beginning. Let me know what you uh, what you uncover in those chests. Paratrooper goes with Constantine. I don't have any, do I? It's a singular action, you don't control that going down, so that's going to make sneaking difficult on ladders. So I don't know if we can move around here very much or not. Warehouse. This one. Whoa! Leave! <laughs> that was quite funny. I think that's the one I've already been in anyway. Who are you? Captain, me lady, we were given away here with the merchandise. The way is clear, it's time to get going. Do your best to be quick and quiet about it. You won't have much time to move at all. 
Don't you be worrying now. Okay. We're off. The warehouse is at the end to the right there. You can't miss it. Move out. Quick steps. Okay. Talk to the coin guard, dude. Okay. Why is he so hard to find? Journal. Side quests. You. So later the drink would have been better, I assume. Complete quest, Griffo. So does it look like persuasion? Okay. Good day, Tavern Keeper. Good day to you. What is your pleasure? I'm looking for my cousin. His name is Constantine. I believe he was intent on celebrating his departure last night. There was indeed a party here last night, but it ended badly. Oh. Whatever do you mean? A brawl broke out. My tavern was shattered, and no one's paid for the damages. Hmm. I'm sorry. Amongst the rebel rousers, did there happen to be a young man? Twenty years of age, hair down to his neck, light brown, blue eyes, quite the talker? I don't believe it. Of course he was there. He's the man that started the fight. I hope you've come to reimburse me. Don't count on me to help you if that's not the case. <sighs> what kind of damage are we talking about exactly? A good half of my furniture was broken into firewood. I piled up the lot over there. Let me take a look. Perhaps it can be repaired. If you can fix it, I'd be obliged. If not, you'll need to pay. <laughs> Let's just do it. To cover your expenses. Excellent. Honest books makes for honest friendships. <laughs> your cousin is either a very ochre or a right good fool. He went and insulted a band of ruffians from the lower boroughs. Dangerous fellows. They've a storehouse they operate out of a few streets from here. What kind of business do they run? Several, actually, and they're all illegal and profitable. But you didn't hear that from me. In any <laughs> case, if you were set on recovering your cousin, I would hurry if I were you. They're not the tender salts. Information. Off with ya. Get him out of whatever mess he's got himself into. Seemed like a courageous fellow. Who could down his pint? Anything else? Not really. I need to be off. Farewell. Goodbye. Well, wow. oh hello, <laughs> some extra gold coins for me, oh, that's hilarious, there's enough gold coins in here to uh, to pay for it, that's kind of funny. E so I guess you can kind of profit out of that if you really wanted to. What is this room supposed to do me? The furniture, but this furniture is in terrible condition. The fight must have been extremely violent. It looks as if it's fixable. I've seen worse. We'll need to build some metal dowels, but once done, we can make them like new. Hey, hey. all right, so we could have just fix it doing that. Never mind. Stuff everywhere. Hello. Put 
probably should have read that. That should have kind of been before. Why do I need to hold X? What? Innkeeper's storeroom key. Okay. What did I just pick up there? Went through there, okay. Came up the stairs. Still need lockpick. Oh my god, there's so much we're missing out on right now. Don't really know why we would want the storm key, but got it. Right, so let's try and reach our way to the Constantine's location. What's in here then? Ah, use key. Hello. Take that bad boy. Locked. Oh, we can use this now. <laughs> Let's look at following a quest here. I mean, that's a turn in at this point, or should be. Right. That's where I should be going. So you're back. Right then. What about our business? We can guarantee that your merchandise will leave with us. <sighs> Thank you, Your Excellency. And bravo, Kurt. The commander will be most pleased. The cargo shall make the voyage. But who will be at its reception once it's arrived? That shall be your next mission. Once you've reached New Serene, go and find the quartermaster. He will give you new instructions. Until really? then. I wish you a safe and pleasant voyage, Your Excellency. Kurt, good luck. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm glad we spoke to him now, rather than later. Right, let's leave. Right, next up, what's this? Departure. Let's go and do this. Hello. Beast Essence and Hawthorne. Hello. I'm wondering how valuable each individual um, level is going to be. Hello. Yeah. Vulture of a tavern master was right. It is Constantine's voice. It's coming from the floor above. Sounds as if he's locked up. And I have a feeling they're expecting company. Be careful. The slightest itchy word to these brutes will have them drawing blades to scratch it. Negotiation may be the solution. As you say, this breed of brutes won't spit on ransom money. What a waste. I'd rather sneak around them than give half a coin to these seedy fellows. <laughs> Okay, so we're an hour in. I am going to end this episode here. In the next one, we're going to go ahead and free Constantine. Um, hopefully, you guys will go ahead and join me for that. And I'll see you then.